What's up guys, what's up girls, good to see you again and in today's video we're going to be talking about Francesca Bianchi perfumes. Now as the name might suggest Francesca Bianchi is an Italian perfumer who works from Amsterdam. Excellent choice of a city by the way, I adore it. And she made quite a sensation a few years back when she came out with her own line of fragrances, niche fragrances, simply because uh, they are so unique so well crafted and so catastrophically long lasting that she was bound to make waves within the frag head community. Now guys, if I were to make a list of perfumes that last even though you take showers, you try to scrub off, etc., the whole line would actually make it to that list. They're that strong. Now, I'm not gonna be talking about everything today, obviously. I'm only gonna focus on one perfume, which is Sticky fingers. Guys, I I received this on uh, in my mail today, this morning actually. Spread it on my wrist a couple of hours ago and was so mind blown by it that I felt compelled to create a video. Even though I didn't give it a full wearing, I have an idea of how this perfume acts and how it behaves and the kind of materials that were used in it. And I can assure you, they are of very high quality. And this is one of the most unique scents out there, which feature a very prominent note of patchouli. But what I'm gonna do is basically spray myself again, rewind the whole thing and give you uh, uh, some feedback. Now you can actually check the notes yourself on Fragrantica on internet. Nowadays you can just see with Google what a perfume actually contains. I, didn't, I did not memorize everything so I'm just gonna give you the most prominent notes. So mamma mia right off the bat guys you can tell that this is one of those scents that has no top notes this is completely devoid of any happy citrus this is not zesty this is just rich and thick the way i love my fragrances very very complex very complicated and this is one of those scents that can be used for personal pleasure but also outside if you want to impress so you get a very dominant note of patchouli which is uh, sweetened up i would say by a very perceivable note of heliotropin now i know for a fact that this has heliotrope in the materials used so i guess it's heliotropin also coupled with some tonka bean so that sweetness which is the only one you will get from uh, any of the notes in this perfume is basically giving that patchouli accord, that patchouli note, uh, a chocolate feeling almost. It's almost, it's not vanillic, it's not, it's just chocolate, man. I'm like, I wish I could eat a chocolate that tastes like patchouli. This is making me wanna eat my arm, it's that good, guys. And usually I'm not too fond of gourmands, but this, might actually be described as a gourmand even though it's not really completely one so after the one minute mark a few spicy nuances will start emerging so i believe there is some coriander but i could be mistaken and you actually perceive it uh, quite a bit it, it it is kind of reminding me of the opening of l'air du désert marocain even though it has nothing to do with it that coriander note making it a bit uh, more interesting and uh, this perfume guys by the way evolves a lot I mean I'm on the two hour mark on this pulse point and it has changed maybe six or seven times every time I smell it every 10 minutes it's different and it's rather beautiful so a few minutes pass and there's this very dominant dried tobacco leaf accord that start, starts popping out. Like you, you basically had a Cuban cigar in your hand and you just crushed it in front of you on the table. This is an unlit Cuban cigar, Cuban cigar uh, added to this beautiful patchouli and heliotropin accord. So the whole thing is very rich, very opulent, uh, almost a, a meditative scent, something that you really, really want to discover and makes you want to stick your nose on your arm, even though you don't need it because it projects a lot. Very good stuff. But this is just the beginning, guys, because as the minutes pass, 
there's a few other nuances that come back uh, to mind. For example, I perceive a bit of an animalic touch. So I'm not sure if this has labdanum, it could be castorium, it could be uh, any other type of resin that is reminiscent of a slightly animalic touch. But it's not off putting, it's not barnyardish, it is just good. It's good, it's very well rounded, guys. And there is, it's quite dusty, I would say, uh, while being very smooth at the same time. This is like smooth, not silky smooth, just smooth. And after you get this smoothness from that um, animalic accord, the leather starts popping up. And this is one of those brown leather accord that is not silky, it's not suede, it is just brown leather jacket. Fantastic stuff. So if I would have to uh, sum up this fragrance, I would call it a leather oriental uh, perfume. A leather oriental unlike anything you've ever smelled, guys. So unique. And if this whole thing continues to kick it until tonight and even though i believe it will because knowing francesca bianchi she uses some very potent aroma chemicals in her perfumes and if it stays this good this is bound to join my collection one of the highlights of this year and i assure you guys that this will become probably her best selling scent it is Unisex can be worn by a sexy lady, can be worn by a macho man, it can be just worn. This would be probably for the colder weather. Uh, I wouldn't wear this even though I didn't try it during a very hot day. Now, uh, the, there's a bit of rain these days in Rome, so the temperature came down, which is a good thing because I was honestly dying with these heat waves. And this is where the perfume shines. I mean, this is one of those scents that you just want to put on when you read a book. It's raining outside, you have a chimney on, and you just want to meditate. And you can also wear it at a gathering. This is so good. As I said, it is one of those perfumes that you can use for personal pleasure, but also outside because it will not offend. Even though there's a bit of an animalic touch, it will not offend anybody. Very well-rounded, very smooth leather fragrance beautiful stuff thumbs up uh, francesca bianchi very very good guys now so if you want me to review anything else from her line feel free to ask i know i owe it to one of my dear subscribers uh that who asked me to actually review etruscan water it is coming up my friend i tr i swear i'm sorry if i postponed it so much but now i'm planning to review the best ones from this line no amore grazie dammi un bacio Rimettilo dentro. I hope you enjoyed, guys. I will see you again in the next one. Take it easy. Yep.